All right, welcome everyone. So I have a special unboxing this time, or special for me, and the uh, reason why is because I came upon this just by accident, really. I was just looking on eBay to see if I could find a nice deal on a Great Wall Hobby 172nd scale F14, or maybe one from uh, Fujimi or Car Models, which is basically a Fujimi kit. And came across this one, which is uh, from Academy. And first, I didn't pay much thought because, you know, it was just an Academy kit. The old one really had no interest in getting one. But then I saw the other picture that showed the contents and this right here. And I had to get it. I mean, for 30 euros total with shipping, I don't think that was a bad price. So, got it. And, uh, yeah, definitely one for my collection, I guess you could say. Because definitely, I don't think I want to build this one. And if I do, it's definitely going to be just straight from the box. Kind of like a Goomba kit. Or a Gundam, if you will. So, uh, let's take a look at the box real quick. There's nothing really special about it. that Other, other than uh, that little sticker there. That gives it a limited edition. And limited edition it is because I didn't even know this kit existed, to be honest with you guys. Uh, like I said, I just came across it by chance. And I this is the first time I've seen this one. So I'm guessing it's very limited. But uh, let's carry on with the box here. For those of you that are not familiar with this kit. Of course, the F14A Tomcat. <clears throat> And as you can see there, fully engraved panel lines, highly detailed cockpit interior and landing gear compartment, and various underwing weaponry and movable swing wing. So there you go. Typical F-14 kit, I guess. Of course, plus the fully engraved panel lines for those of you that prefer that. I myself am part of that group, but uh, for me, it doesn't matter if it's raised or engraved. If I can work with the engraved panel lining, great. Doesn't bother me at all. And if not, then that's okay too. I just won't get the kit. <laughs> but anyways, we can see the side of the box here. What you get when it's built to specs, I guess. And of course, you can probably see the typical ordinance that comes with the kit for an F-14 side of the box and just different languages of what it contains and more info here on the side and I guess this is kit FA060 10,000 I think on the other side it had just uh, oh no it did the same same number Kit number 1679, but I guess that it's a limited, it has this number. I'm not sure. So let's get right to it. You guys ready? Oh man, this kit is gonna be beautiful. Just on the packaging alone. Well, before I get to that, let me let me <laughs> let me go on with the instructions and the decals. All oh, the decals are in a separate bag. Never mind. Okay, so the instructions here. There are the colors that you would need if you chose to paint it as per the instructions. Then we have here your weapons and stores of different variations of what the aircraft load can be. And of course, you start off with the instrument panel, cockpit area assembly, fuselage. You have decal placement for the instrument panels and whatnot. And going on to step four. There we go. Assembly, 
fuselage and wing assembly. Of course, there's a assembly of movable wings, <laughs> which is pretty much the same type as uh, my 148 scale academy kit so far. I know this is pretty much the same. Mm, then we go to the missiles and storage assembly. There we go. And the tarp spot. Of course, no glass. So, be a nice little sub assembly to uh, do a little extra detailing on that and actually put glass in the camera lenses or for the camera lens covers, I mean. And here we go with a front assembly, air intakes, rooters. You can get, get the option of uh, open turkey feathers or closed. There's that for the front landing gear. Then we go to, yep. The resting hook has a decal and yep yeah. so that makes it easier to paint or to assemble since you don't have to paint it and uh, let me see if I can show you the decals without showing you too much of the pieces here hold on a second I'll show the decals in a second here there's a alternative missile mounting <laughs> And what's the difference? Mounting missile mounting A and B twenty five. Well, they're the same. Looks like it to me. Anyways, moving on. Maybe different. No, it's the same. C9. Okay, maybe for left and right, I guess. Okay. So, main landing gear assembly here. I think I said the same with the front landing gear. But anyways, moving along, moving along. Then we get the final weapons installation. Canopy. It's nice that this one actually has the... Uh, Optional ladder for it. My 148 scale kit didn't. Man. Alright, and then we got um, parts trees and the painting guide. So there we go. That's what you get with this kit. So it's not, you know, just some cheap kit, I guess. I'm sure this is better than the uh, Italian one. I don't have that kit, but usually Tellery tends to be way more simplistic with their kit, so that's my opinion on that. And of course, the paint and decal instructions. There you have it for the instructions. Oh yeah, one final page here on the back as to what it could look like, but fact that this is black and white kind of makes it lame but again this kid is probably older like from the 80s or 90s maybe but shows you with the sweat wings and extended wings and the weapon store not bad not too shabby so now let me see if I can show you the decals before showing you the parts let me cover most of this all right, so there are the decals. Let me see if I can bring this better to better lighting. So there you have it for the arrestor hook and the instruments and weapons. Oh, you saw a preview there. A sneak peek. So those are the decals for you. And now let's move on to the parts I'm telling you look at that <laughs> nice oh 
hope I don't break the bow that I'm trying to rework. Okay, I'll get a better shot here in a second, but look at the shininess of these parts. Look at that. I just made up a word. But look at that shine. Whoa. I never thought I would find something like this. But man, look at that. That is tight. Nice. That was a, a good find for me, I think. And the price wasn't bad either. I mean, 30 euros, which what, like maybe 35 bucks? For the gimmick? Yeah, that's not bad. I don't think that's bad at all. I mean, you can see the engraved panel detail there too, so. Whoa. This kid is nice. Useless gimmick, you guys think? Doesn't matter. It's nice to look at. Look at all that. Nice. The shine on these parts, man. Okay, here's the canopy. And of all the weapons. Oh. Look at that shine. The reflection, boy. I'm telling you, it's way better than when you look, when you have this in your face, in front of you. Oh, some scuffing there. But man, this kid is nice looking. Look at that. Oh, who's that in the reflection? <laughs> Man. Real nice. Man, when I saw this, I just jumped at the gun and bought it. I took the risk of looking up and seeing if I can find any info on this, but not really much, so... Well, before somebody else gets it, let me go ahead and hurry up and buy it. And I'm so glad it wasn't on a bid as an auction. It was just buy it now. Look at that. Definitely one for the collection, for sure. Oh, no, the missile fell off. But that is some nice work. It's just too bad that it's not undergated, though. Make things so much easier if I were to put it together. But for now, I definitely don't have plans for that. This is just one that I'll, I'm gonna stash away, if you will. But there's a cockpit plane. So, yeah. Decals for that one, I guess. Huh? But there you go. I mean, uh, honestly, I'm not going to open this one up because I just don't want to risk losing pieces or scuffing it more than it already is. But I mean, just seeing it in the box, it just looks freaking awesome. Look at that. Sweet. Reminds me of the Naboo... Uh, what is it that from Star Wars the where the Oh god I can't even remember the character's name anymore. Luke's mom I forget Amidala. There you go, Princess Amidala <laughs> flies into one days in that desert, but yeah. So there you go. It's from Academy and again this is the old moldings. The newer ones are, I guess, have more details on it. And uh, I think you can open the gun bay and all that stuff. But again, this is the old moldings from Academy. Still pretty good, though. But, yeah, that's my small, real quick, well, not real quick, but 
quick unboxing for this kit special edition if you can find it at a good price get it it's worth having just for the collection or something or if you want to build it and then just touch up the nut marks with one of those um, Molotov uh, chrome markers I think that would work too I don't know but that's it thank you for watching and uh, oh no and see you on the next one bye bye